Hey everyone, it's Rainbow Runner. So welcome back to another video. So today um, I'm here with one of my friends and actually one of my mission companions, Elder Max Reynolds. Um, yes. All right, <laughs> take off your mask. All right. But anyways, um, I, I saw somebody like some of you in the comments like, request like how to do a tutorial for driving stick shift. So I figure I might as well do it because this is my 1993 Ford F-150 XLT um, with a five-speed manual transmission. Um, I call it the Fantastic Ford. Um, and so, yeah, right here you got your pedals. Um, this is the parking brake. Um, yeah, you use your left foot for the clutch right here. Um, your, and then your right foot for the gas and the brake like you would with an automatic. Um, and the thing you uh, know is um, like, like first and reverse are basically very touchy with the clutch. You have to like get it just right, like letting off the clutch and giving it gas. You don't want to like go like too fast or whatever or else it'll get really jerky. But um. Yeah, so, and then you got your gear shift in this case, and right there's my FM transmitter that I use, but um, yeah, uh, first is all the way to the, to the left and up, this is second, third, fourth, and then fifth is all the way, right, I only use fifth like when I'm on the highways and stuff, I'm like, fourth is typically the highest I go when on surface street, and when it's like this, it's a neutral, that means you can take, you can let off the clutch and it'll stay running, um, and then all the way right and down is reverse, um, all right, so so to start the truck, um, you have to put in the clutch to uh, if you do if you don't put in the clutch, it'll simp it won't do anything like this. See, so um, yeah, so to start off, you have to remember you have to put the clutch in. All right, and then I'm gonna put it in neutral, and that means it's safe to take off the clutch um, um while the engine's running, and I'm gonna give it over to uh, Max right here, so he Elder can, Reynolds or Matt Elder, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um. So yeah, to start off, um, so yeah, my foot's on the clutch. I'm gonna put it in first. Um, so and then, so now to start off, you have to carefully let off the clutch and then give it gas. And now we're starting to move right now. And then we're go I'm just gonna go slowly. We're in an empty parking lot. Um, or mostly empty. I saw a few cars, but yeah, we're right here. And now I'm gonna put in the clutch and then I hit the brake just to stop it um yeah so pretty much when you stop and start you you got to put the clutch in um, unless you're in neutral which i've been known to do that um but um, i'm gonna also uh, i'm gonna do it again yeah. and it's also it also matters like and and if you don't get it for the first time it's no big deal um, i mean the only way you're gonna get better is to actually practice um and I guess what, as they say, practice makes permanent. Um, I'm going to turn around and, and I'm and I'm going to go along this long straightaway. I'm going to maybe also show you shifting. So as you're driving, um, as the engine gets loud or at about 2,000 RPMs, I can put in the clutch and then shift to second and then blow off the clutch and then give it gas. And I mean. Usually, like when you get up to speed, it's more like driving an automatic um, car as well. Um, so it's pretty good. Um, I guess I can show you like what happens if you um, don't um, if you don't get the, it right with the clutch. So yeah, yeah. If, if you don't get it right with the clutch or whatever and stuff, if you if you like let off too fast, it'll get really jerky like that. Um, and you can either you can also stall that way. Um, but I mean, you just restart the engine in, in case that happens. Um, I mean, and it, it, so I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, and again, you got to get practice with it. So yeah. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. Thank you, Elder Reynolds. You're welcome. All right. But now on a more serious note, um, I this is something I've been meaning to address. Um, you may have noticed that there's been a little bit of a hiatus in my uploading and stuff. Um, like, like my last rail fanning, like... Like I only upload one rail fanning during September, which is at the beginning, and there's been a little bit of a break. Well, yeah, I've had some more some serious notes. Um, yeah, this truck, believe it or not, um, this used to be owned by my grandfather Howard Davis. Um, he, well, we traded vehicles with him at the beginning of 2017, right before I got my driver's license. Um, yeah, well, tragically, um, on the 21st, um. My grandfather passed away. Um, he was um, eight, 79 years old, um, and he was actually one day younger than Harrison Ford. Um, uh, but I mean, eh. so it has been a little bit tough on my family, and um, particularly my father. Um, but 
at the same time, there were plenty of spiritual experiences as well. Um, and, uh, I mean, it's, I, it's a rare instance with, with the loss of a loved one, but I, mean, but there are plenty of good things that say like Howard was, he was a true disciple of Jesus Christ. Um, he was the, he always meant the world to everybody. Um, he, there was plenty of attributes that I, that we all should strive to be like, um, him and, uh, and it was very touching, uh, uh, like, and as President Russell and Nelson stated in his 1992, um, talk, um, uh, taking the sorrow out of death would be taking the love out of life, um, and at the same, and it's very, and, and, and that, that's fitting, um, and it's, I mean, it's okay to be sad because, I mean, we have to have that sorrowful separation before that joyful reunion on the other side of the veil, um, but however, at, at the same time, I know that his legacy is living on, and very nicely, um, that having this as, uh, having, owning this truck, um, and play of things, so, that I also, so I, this is a reason why I, I decided to dedicate this video to, to my grandfather, so, you know, thank you for all you've done, Howard, and, and I know you're watching down from us, and, and, yeah, thank you to all your, all my viewers as well, um, I hope you understand and how, how things have been, and more videos will be coming soon, so, Rainbow Runner will be heading out, and I'll see you back in the near future.